Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on expansion of brackets. So we start with the first problem. Problem one, expand and simplify where possible. A, three into two A plus five, we have B and we have C. So in our solution, we start from A. Um, we use the number outside the bracket or whatever is outside the bracket to multiply everything inside the bracket. That is to say, we say three times two A plus three times five. Then we then simplify three times two A gives six A and three times five gives 15. So we have it as six A plus 15. And that's that for A. We cannot simplify this further because they are not like terms. Then we go for B. For B, we use this 2x to multiply everything inside this bracket. 2x times 3x gives 6x squared. Since 2 times 3 gives 6 and x times x gives x squared. 2x times 5 will give us a 10x. So the connector is plus. We are done with the first bracket. Then we go to the second bracket. We have 3 outside the second bracket so we use the three to multiply everything inside the bracket remember we are using plus three so plus three times two x gives plus six x and plus three times minus five gives minus 15. we are going to simplify the middle terms that is the 10x and 6x because they are like terms so the first term of the Expansion will be 6x squared, then 10x plus 6x gives plus 16x, then minus 15. All these are not like terms. Even though this has x and this has x, the fact that the power of this x is 2 and that of this one is 1 does not make them like terms. So that's all for B. We go for C. Again, we have two brackets. The first one, we use this u to multiply everything inside this bracket. We use this minus 5 to multiply everything inside the second bracket. So u times 2u gives 2u squared. u times negative 1 gives negative u. We are done with that. Minus 5 times 2u gives minus 10u. Minus 5 times minus 1 will give us plus 5. Remember, minus times minus gives plus, and 5 times 1 gives 5. The common mistakes among students is to use only 5 to multiply what is inside the bracket. You are using the minus 5. You are using the minus 5 to multiply everything. So take note of that. We then go ahead to simplify minus u minus 10u. So that our final result for the expansion will be 2u squared minus 11u plus 5. And that's all for C. And that's the end of solution to problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2, expand and simplify. Um, we have A, B and C. So starting from A, for this type of expansion, what we do is to use this p to multiply everything inside the second bracket that is p into 3p minus 1 we also pick this plus 3 to multiply everything inside the second bracket this is the way to distribute it out then we now expand as in the previous expansion so p times 3p gives 3p squared p times minus 1 gives minus p then plus 3 times 3p gives plus 9p and plus 3 times minus 1 gives minus 3. So that's simplifying the middle terms. We still have 3p squared minus p plus 9p gives plus 8p then minus 3. And that's all for the expansion of a. We then go for b. Um, for b we have 2a minus 3b all squared, which means we are going to multiply the bracket by itself. 
So we have it as 2a minus 3b into 2a minus 3b. We can then go ahead to simplify like the case in a. So that we now have 2a multiplying the second bracket and minus 3b multiplying the second bracket again. We then expand. We then multiply out and simplify. 2a times 2a gives 4a squared. 2a times minus 3b gives minus 6ab. Minus 3b times 2a will give me minus 6ab. And minus 3b times minus 3b will give me plus 9b squared. Remember, minus times minus gives plus, and uh, 3 times 3 is 9, b times b gives b squared. We then simplify the middle terms, so that our final answer will be 4a squared minus 12ab, minus 6ab minus 6ab is minus 12ab, then plus 9b squared. And that's all for b, we then go for c. For C again, um, we expand this, expand this, and simplify. Remember, as in B, the first part is going to be 3n plus 4 into 3n plus 4, then minus n into 2n plus 5. So we do this expansion directly. 3n times 3n gives 9n squared, then 3n times 4 gives plus 12n, 4 times 3n gives 12n, then 4 times 4 gives 16. So the expansion of this bracket gives this. We go to the last part of the expansion. Minus n times 2n gives minus 2n squared. Minus n times plus 5 gives minus 5n. So that Collecting the like terms, I have 9n squared minus 2n squared, then plus 12n plus 12n minus 5n, then plus the constant which is 16. Now, 9n squared minus 2n squared gives 7n squared, 12n plus 12n minus 5n gives plus 19n, then plus 16. And that's the end of the expansion in 2C and the end of solution to problem 2. We then go to problem 3. For problem 3, it seems to be an application. Um, we have to calculate the area of the rectangle below. So we go straight for the solution. Uh, the area of a rectangle is length times breadth. Our length in this case is the longer side, which is 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 centimeters. And our breadth is 2x plus 3 centimeters. So substituting, we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 into 2x plus 3. We then expand. We pick the first term of the first bracket and use it to multiply everything in the second bracket. So that 2x squared times 2x gives 4x3. 2x squared times 3 gives 6x squared. Then we are done with this. We pick plus 5x to multiply everything inside the second bracket. Plus 5x times 2x gives plus 10x squared. Plus 5x times plus 3 gives plus 15x. We are done multiplying by plus 5x, we then go for minus 1. Minus 1 times 2x gives minus 2x. Minus 1 times plus 3 gives minus 3. We then simplify the like terms. This is standing on its own. That's 4x3. Then 6x squared plus 10x squared will give us 16x squared plus 15x minus 2x gives plus 13x, then minus 3, all in centimeters squared. So this is the area of this rectangle in algebraic form. 
um, please be informed that if it is easier for you to multiply this one by the second one so that we now have the arrangement as 2x plus 3 into 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 it will still give us the same result so that we will now pick the first term here to multiply everything inside the second bracket so that we now have it as 2x times 2x squared gives 4x3 2x times plus 5x gives plus 10x squared 2x times minus 1 gives minus 2x so i pick the plus 3 again to multiply everything inside the second bracket plus 3 times 2x squared gives plus 6x squared plus 3 times plus 5x gives plus 15x and plus 3 times minus 1 gives minus 3 we then collect the like terms and simplify so i have 4x3 plus 10x squared plus 6x squared then we have um, the terms in x as minus 2x and 15x so i have plus 15x minus 2x then the constant term being minus 3 so we simplify the like terms now i have 4x raised to the power 3 10x squared plus 6x squared gives 16x squared 15x minus 2x gives 13x then minus 3 all square centimeters you can see now that the results are the same so depending on which is convenient for you and that's the end of solution to problem 3 and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video until we come your way again goodbye